So hello everybody, how are you today? I have the coolest tutorial ever. I am going to show you how you can refresh a Power BI report every second or every minute. So, you know, you don't have to have the Power BI um, limitations that they have. Here's the thing, there's a good news and there's some bad news. The good news is it doesn't require premium. The bad news is that it requires a live connection. Okay, so this will work with, for example, analysis services or SQL where you have a live connection. And the trick is being shown by Bingit Data Analytics Solution. Thank you guys. Awesome. I don't know who wrote it because the name is not here, but someone very, very awesome. Okay, so I've actually been trying to do this video forever because I didn't read the limitation of live. So I was trying with all kinds of sources and nothing worked, but I've got it working. So here's how you do it. And I'm going to demonstrate it live. So this is what you have to have, you know, a live connection, a pro account, maybe it works with free, I haven't tried. It should work with free, you, you can schedule a refresh. And then you need the, um, you know, you publish it to powerbi.com to the service, and then you need to download and install the Google Chrome add-in super auto refresh plus. So you just click here and it will take you to this uh, add-in. And then I already added, you, here it will say add to Chrome and you will add it to Chrome. Obviously it works with Chrome. I don't know if there's any other browser, but it does work with Chrome. So you have it. So. Here's the demonstration. I have, um, this is an app that I actually use. I have created a power app so I can write how many times I spend every day for each customer. And then I have pushed it to Power BI and I have at the end of the month a report for how many hours should I invoice. Easy. So I'm going to use this to demonstrate. The um, source is an SQL database in Azure that the Power app is connecting to. And I have, obviously I cannot show you the data, but you will see that this number change when I add a line on Power Apps. So how does it work? First, you locate the report that you want to refresh. In these cases, my report is, uh, so you know, you go to reports, not dashboards, you go to, uh, to the report section, you locate your report, which is Refresh Power BI, is the one that you saw. And then here you need to add question mark Chromeless equal one. That means without a frame, you know? So it removes all the Power BI stuff and it just gives you the, um, the report in, you know, full screen. And now I've already set it up, but you will get this when you install the extension. So you click on that and you say, I want to refresh it every minute. And then you'll see the countdown. So I'm going to the Power App and I'm going to write customer bake. So I don't make stuff. I'm going to write a date for when I did the work. I'm going to write the hours and like a lot of, you, know, you will see only one hour there. And then a description, done, submit. So I just submit the hours for another customer. And we have 44 seconds to go before it refreshes. We don't want to wait that long, right? So let's do it every five seconds. Three, two, one. Come on. Go for it. Did you see that? Let's do it again. So you see it's consistently working. Fake. 2019. Okay, now let's not do that. Let's put every minute. Uh, 0, 5, 0, 3. Push, send the new one. Okay, let's refresh in five seconds. 2, 1. It's going to refresh. It should say 123. Come on. What's going on? Come on. 
he's refreshing. He doesn't have he doesn't have the time to refresh before it has to refresh again. Is that the issue? One hundred and twenty-three. So it works beautifully. So if you have SQL, Azure uh, Live Connections, whatever other Live Connection that you want, let's let's get back to a minute. Um, it will actually refresh. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to give down below the link to the blog post where you can get the extension for the, uh, you know, the, the, the link to the Chrome extension, okay? So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Until then, take care. Bye.